Hey there, I'm Alex. Today I want to show you how to install Comfy UI for Nuke. I figured even though this has very good instructions on what to follow, it'd be a good idea to just have a video version of it just so that you can follow step by step. And I actually run into a little hiccup that is not covered in the instructions, so you have that alternative in case you run into the same issue. The project I'm going to be showing you today is Comfy UI for Nuke by Vina VFX. There's a few other out there, but this is by far the one that has the most updates. So I figured this is a, this is a safe one to, to install and, and start testing. If we go down to the requirements, the more important ones are the version of Nuke. So we need 12 or higher. We need to have installed Comfy UI, of course, and then we'll need the Comfy UI HQ image save. And this is so that we can work with EXRs. Um, I'll, I'll be posting a link to the Comfy UI repo just in case you don't have it installed. But I'm guessing if you're here, you already have it installed. And then you'll also need to install Git as well as Python in your machine. Okay. So once you have, if you have all of those taken care of, I'm gonna go ahead and load your um, your dot nuke folder right which i have here now and we want to clone this repository into our dot nuke folder so there's this code here git clone we're going to go ahead and copy that and where do we paste that we just go to our address bar here and we type cmd just to bring a command line and then we paste it there and now we can go ahead and you can just go ahead and execute it and it's just going to copy it's going to download all the contents of this repo into your dot nuke folder right so i've already done that so i'm just going to skip that you just wait for it to finish and that'll be it as an alternative if you don't want to do it through the command line you can also just uh, click the code button here the drop down and download the zip that's essentially downloading all the contents of the repo and then you can just you know um, you can just create a dot nuke uh, sorry not dot nuke nuke underscore comfy folder and then just paste the contents in there but the, the git clone uh, option is yeah, very quick. So second, we it says install WebSocket client in Python. So how do we do that? And this is where I had a bit of an issue. First, I didn't know where to put this uh, line of code, and then I after a few after a little trial and error, I figured I navigated to my uh, Python folder, which is under users, username, app data, local programs, Python, and Python version there, right? So that's my my directory where I have it. And here I'm going to run the command. Right, and what it says, let me just pin this here. What it says is you want to run this code, right, which I'm going to paste here, and then replace the version with our version number, right? So you might be asking, okay, so how do we find out what our uh, version of Python is? So if you open a new command line, you can just type Python dash dash, so sorry, Python space dash dash version. And that'll tell you what Python version you have. So I have Python 3.12.5, right? So if I now uh, modify this line here and replace the version with my, my version, so if I say 3.12.5 and then try to run it, I ran into an issue, right? I ran into an error. So what I realized after a bit of searching is that you can just run the same code with no version whatsoever. So just the word Python and then space dash M. So just skipping skipping this all together. So if I run this now, it's gonna say the requirements already satisfied because of course I've already installed it. So just know that if you're running an issue where putting the Python version gives you an error, you can just skip it. At least that's how it worked for me. So number three is we wanna add lines to the menu PY. So if we go back to our dot nuke folder here and and navigate to our menu py what you'll see is that i've added let me just move this around here for a bit so what you'll see is that it, it asks us to add these three lines of code right so i've gone ahead and added and when when you add it you want to replace the directory with the directory where your python resides right so you have an example here for windows this is more or less the uh, directory you want to find. So I again, I went back to my Python folder and I I followed the next few steps. So li so lib and then site packages. So I did that and then site packages, right? And then once I once I was there, I just copied this whole uh, directory and then I just pasted it here. Next is uh, it says clone the comfy UI, but you know you, you don't really need to do that if you already have it installed. If you 
if you don't have it installed then you know look for a tutorial that shows you how to do that because there's plenty out there and then it asks you to install the 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 plugin for for comfy so that we can save exr images so how do we do that if you go into a comfy window right you just can just go into your manager and into custom nodes manager here so we'll give it a second to load and then just type hq and that should be the result you're looking for. Just select it and say uh, install, which I, I don't have because I've already done that. And that'll give you access to those nodes. Okay. So if we go back here, it now, so that's step five. Now step six, it, it it's an optional step. So it, it's just asking you to add stuff to your Comfy UI installation. But if you're here, you probably already have um, you know, a fully featured Comfy UI installation. So uh, you can go ahead and skip this and same with models. You probably already have your own. So once you complete those steps, what you want to go ahead and do is launch Comfy UI, which I've already done in the background. And once you have Comfy running, you can go ahead and launch Nuke. So now within Nuke, uh, you'll see you have a, a little tool set here for Comfy UI, right? And it doesn't show much. So that means that I guess at least the installation has completed successfully. However, because I know that I'm not seeing all of my custom nodes, if you click the update all comfy UI, what that will do is it's, it's going to scan in the background and you'll see next time I open it, I have access to every single thing that I've installed in my comfy UI. So, okay, cool. Installation complete. If this is what you were after, this is where you hop off. If you're interested in how to bring a workflow, I'll show you that next. So, Let's go back to the browser here and into Comfy. So let's say you have a you have a workflow like this. This is, for example, is a uh, a flux uh, image generation, right? So if I go uh, into save here in the in the manager, you can just save that JSON file. So once you can do that for all your workflows and then just keep them in your in your Nuke directory or wherever you want to save them. So let's say you want to give it a name, save JSON, so click OK, and once you have that done, you can hop back into Nuke. And here in the in the new comfy menu, you can just say import workflow, right? And in my in my uh, loader here, I can just say workflows, and I'm going to say flux, and say open. So you'll see it might give you an error about missing notes. What I've noticed is that sometimes workflows like this, where I use um, different notes to to input, uh, for example, height and width in this example they sometimes don't work. I guess it's something missing or I don't know. I just don't know enough. What I noticed is that that information that was being driven through this node in Comfy, right? So 1024, same with this one, can be controlled on whatever was connected to that, right? So if I look here into my my node, I can see it has controls for that. So maybe it's because it's redundant, right? So same with this one. If I look here, it does have the height and width. So good. I can just get rid of that. And I noticed that it just it kind of just works like that so now we have that done it's a it's a bit of a mess but if you if we look side by side to what this looks like in comfy and nuke it more or less resembles how you how you had laid out your nodes in comfy ui so at least that's something it's not the most organized thing in the world but i guess from here you can just you know take it and, and organize it as you, as you see fit so another cool thing is that you can now save this as a nuke script which is actually quite handy so you can go ahead and and save it and that way you don't just rely on the workflow now you have a nuke script that will actually build this for you so the next thing we want to go ahead and do is switch out the default save image by with the exr one right because this one by default saves pngs but we don't want that we want to save exr and because we've loaded all of our comfy ui notes we can just tab and search for save exr that's going to bring in the one we installed before. So I'm going to turn off the sRGB to linear and I'm just going to give it a name. Let's say let's generate a cloud, just a cloud asset. And now we can go into our clip and code prompt. And let's let's say here a photo of a cloud on a blue background. Right. So now if I go ahead into my Q prompt node. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring up the command line from Comfy so that you can see it in action here. And if I Q prompt, you'll see it'll start doing everything in the background. So like always, because it's the first generation, it has to load the new model, which takes a bit, but then it'll just quickly start and uh, start uh, generating the image for us. So I've had, I had it set to 1024 to 1024. So it's going to take just a few more seconds. 
and then it's going to load the image immediately as soon as it's done. So there we go. So now we have an image, a very blown out image of a cloud in a blue background, right? So something very basic, very quick. Um, and that way you can just save directly to XR and you can connect things within, within Nuke. You can just quickly add a grade node. So th that's what's nice about it. You don't have to jump back and forth. You can just start doing here, stuff here. So that's it. This way you can have Comfy UI and Nuke working together. And of course, it's just to get you up and running. There's a ton of stuff you can do. You can load multiple workflows. You can load EXRs to get started through Comfy UI. So uh, a lot of interesting things that you can do with it. Hopefully this helps you out, get, get up and running. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.